Hello, 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 and welcome to Healing 101. Today, we are talking about how our inner fears interfere with our life and our accomplishments. Y'all better get excited about that. You need to stop by today and see what we're talking about here at Healing 101. If you are watching the replay, go ahead and type that down in a message. We welcome you to join us every single day on the replay. I want you to know that we are talking about things that mentally strong people, they just don't do. And what we're talking about this week is they don't focus on things they can't control. That's something we just not going to do. So welcome to Healing 101. If you're new with us, my name is Dr. Manifa Jones. I'm a transformational life coach. In addition to that, I'm an entrepreneur, a business owner. I was a previous college professor about to get back into that, right? Get excited. In addition to that, health and wellness business distributor. I do consultations for outpatient mental health clinics. But listen, I'm a wife, a daughter, a sister, a mother and today I'm your friend so welcome to the love trial get excited so I am pumped up and excited today because I have so many amazing things to share with you guys today hey mom we are talking about our series of mentally strong things mentally strong people they just don't do they don't focus on things they can't control you know why because when we focus on things we can't control, that means that we are tapping into our fear. And we are allowing the frightful part of our personality to rule our lives. And if you understand, that's just not a place of strength. That's not operating from a place of power when you operate from the frightened parts of your personality. A lot of things that we do, if we actually journal, and we actually analyze the inventory ourselves. It's not because we love our partner. It's not because we love our kids, Cheryl. It's not because, no, let me tell you what it's because. It's because we afraid. And shouts out to Cheryl and mom for getting some products and they got their free 15 day kit. They over there getting healthy mentally through mental mastery and physically. Y'all better get excited about that. They have the whole deal. So I'm excited about that. Thank you ladies for your patronage and thank you so much and congratulations on your free kit. That's exciting. So guys, we have to take the time to journal and identify our fears. I'm telling you guys, if you look at your life, Cheryl, like all of us, right? Thank you. If you just look at your life and you figure out, wow, I thought I was loving my son, but I was really afraid of him rejecting me. I thought I was loving my man, but I was really afraid of him abandoning me. I thought I was loving my job and being passionate, but I was really afraid of being broke and being in poverty. So I humbled myself and, and I did things and, and I settled for people, places, and things that were below me. Why? Because I was afraid. The reason why I settled for the man that I said, well, at least I got a man was because I was afraid to be alone. And the reason why I settled for disrespect from my son and other relatives and family members, you know why I settled? Because I didn't respect myself. You know the reason why I settled for that job that I knew was beneath me, that was beneath my skill level, my ability level. You know why? Because I was afraid to be broke. I was afraid to be poor. I was afraid not to have the rent money next month. Not understanding that if I just spend a moment in nature, that the trees don't want for water. The trees don't hope that their roots grow. The flowers, the birds, and the bees, they don't hope that they're able to pollinate. They don't hope that they get the food. Do you see rabbits and deers knocking on your door, asking you for food? No, we do this foolishness, talk about rabbits and carrots and all. Look, they're not looking for you. They're not expecting you to feed them. They understand the instinct that they will be fed. But we don't get that. So we're afraid. So we don't get that. So we operate out of the frightened part of our personality. And it shows up in our relationships. It shows up in our business dealings. It shows up in our communication. Because we walk in fear. So guess what we're going to do today, guys? We're going to identify our fears. Because one thing I know 
is that inner fear, come on now, this is exciting. Y'all better be taking notes. Inner fear interferes with what you are trying to accomplish. Inner fear, the fear that we have within, it interferes. Our inner fear interferes with our life. Just analyze it. Just think about it, queen. Our inner fears interferes with our successes and our accomplishments. That's why it's so important that we meditate. That's why it's so important that we journal. That's why it's so important that we have self-esteem work, self-esteem rituals, self-care healing rituals. Get excited that Healing 101 is one of those rituals. That's why it's so important that we have a morning routine and a night routine. And you might say, this is overwhelming. I got to do all that? Well, no, you don't. You can live in misery. You can live your life like you're suffering every day. You can live your life like a poor, abandoned, rejection, rejected, unloved, unappreciated, unappreciated, not respected, disrespected, non-valued, low self-esteem person. You don't have to choose this journey. But if you choose this journey of self-elevation, you're going to want to, one by one, reduce all the fears in your life. Because see, mentally strong people, they don't focus on things that they can't control. People who are obsessed about controlling things, they're really insecure and in covering up their fears, mom. They're insecure. You look like you're powerful. You look like you're sharp. Because everything got to be perfect. Everything got to be clean. It can't be no wrinkles. Everything got to be organized. You got to be on time. You got to be early. I got to control this. I got to control you. I got to control the school system. I got to control the government. No, you don't. You just have to manage yourself. I'm going to tell you right now. Stop wasting all your time and energy. Because you think you're controlling something. But for real, for real, you're not controlling anything. But... <laughs> Your, your blood pressure is high. You have high stress levels. You have high cholesterol. You have low tolerance for pain, but you're not controlling anything else. So listen, we have to get a grip on identifying our fears. Mentally strong people don't focus on what they cannot control. So what we can focus on, we talked about the other day, we, we're not going to focus on what we can't control, number one. We're not going to influence people without trying to, we're going to influence people without trying to control them. Watch the replay if you missed that. We, we're not here to, like, me and Cheryl, we were talking, right? That's my girl. We talk on live. <laughs> we like, ain't nobody going to tell us what to do. We're not going to listen anyway, right? So stop trying to influence other people with your way of life. They have their own journey. They have their own political beliefs, their own religious beliefs, their own sexual orientation, their own thoughts, their minds, their own educational status, their own economic status, their own racial status. It's not for you to determine and it's not for you to judge. And furthermore, your life will be so full of freedom and less stress if you stop trying to control others. Now, when we identify our fears and we focus on what we can control, guess what we do? Number one, hope y'all taking notes. We practice acceptance. Have you ever been around people who are always trying to control every situation? Just, just accept it. See, let me tell you where depression and anxiety comes from. It comes from you not processing life as it is, but you processing life as you want it to be. Say that again. Get excited. I just gave y'all the cure for depression and anxiety, Pam. Come on now. I just gave y'all the cure. Y'all better get excited. Right? You are trying to process life as you want it to be, except instead of practicing life as it is and accepting it. Practice acceptance. Accept that some of your friends, they don't rock with you no more. Okay. Except that some of your relatives, they don't want to invite you. That's fine. 
accept that the job that you used to be at, you really outgrew it. You really superseded it. But you didn't understand that. So guess what God did? He, he closed the door. He slammed the door so you can elevate, baby, so you can go to the next level. I know you thought it was a bad thing, sis. I know you thought, like, this don't feel right. I got fired. My friend stabbed me in the back. Oh, the, what, what the What is going on? This don't feel right. But let me tell you something. Accept it. You will never have a day of depression and anxiety if you live in the present, if you live in the now. And you accept life as it is. See, Maya Angelou says something so great. And if we adopt this into our life, we will be forever the better. Maya Angelou says, when people show you who they are, believe them, baby. Uh, if they show you you're not their favorite, believe them. If they show you they don't value you, believe them. Why are you trying to be in their face? Why are you trying to be invited out? Why are you trying to be around people who do not celebrate you, who only tolerate you? What are you doing? You need to practice acceptance. You need to accept life for what it is. You won't be as sad a day in your life. You will be so unbothered. You'll be like, okay, you don't rock with me? Okay. So let me go into my mind because, see, if I think of those thoughts, it's going to sabotage my life. I'm going to be depressed. I'm going to have panic attacks. I'm going to be wondering what you say about me. So I'm going to stop all those negative thoughts because, see, let me teach you a psychological thought, a psychological remedy, and a psychological formula. Your body, your mind, your brain don't know if you're experiencing something right now or if you're just thinking about it. I'm going to say that again. Your body, your mind, your soul, your brain, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your colon, your intestines, your skin, your organs, your white blood cells, your red blood cells. They do not know if you are experiencing a trauma or if you're just thinking about it. That's why I don't do a form of traditional therapy. Like if you've been raped and molested, we're not going to keep going over that. Because you keep sharing it with me. We're going to talk about it. We're going to uncover the issues. But we're not going to keep talking about it. Ten years later, after daddy don't die. No, you know why? Because every time you bring it up, your mind doesn't know if it's happening. And so your body will experience anxiety. Your body will experience the depression. So guess what we're going to do with these interferes that interfere? We're going to stop rehearsing the pain. We're going to stop using our mind against ourselves. We're going to stop sitting there going over all the things that do not bring us joy. Because mentally strong people understand that they have to practice acceptance. Why, oh why, do you want to force people to allow you in their lives? Can you take it from me? Life is easier when you're not invited to the party. You don't have to drive there. You don't have to cook. You don't have to wait for everybody to talk about you. Like, if life is easier, I like it better this way myself. Why do we force ourselves to be in people's presence who don't celebrate us? You know why? Because when we home, we don't celebrate ourselves. So we want to get around you so we can get some good vibes. I'm good vibing right now. My hubby ain't here. I'm by myself. I'm good. I'm good, good. Get excited. I talk to myself in loving ways. I have self-care, self-healing rituals every day. I'm not waiting for you to love me. I'm not waiting for you to like me. It is extra, baby. So what I'm going to do is I am going to handle my fears. What I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that deep down inside that I am excited about myself. Cheryl, my husband, this is crazy. He's sending a message right now. He says 704 or 714. Nobody needs to know what that is. You can put that in a message. 704 or 714. Get excited. So, in practicing acceptance, we have to give up control 
because it's going to make us stronger. In practicing acceptance, we have to give up control. I know you think you're stronger, you're more assertive, you're more aggressive when you're controlling everybody. But you're just showing everybody that you can't control yourself. Why do you have an overwhelming need to control everything around you? You need to analyze that. You need to take inventory. We're journaling over here. This is the work. I told you guys, I'm healing live. Y'all just invited to the party so y'all can heal along with me. I had to ask myself the tough questions. Why do I need to control my sons? Thank you, Cheryl. Why do I need to, and I believe I'm going to be fine to do this. Oh my God, I'm almost afraid to do it. Can I do it? Um, I'm going to do it. One second. Let me tell him. Don't move anywhere, guys. Thank you so much, Cheryl. It's so amazing. Oh, I hope I didn't turn y'all off. Please, God, I hope I didn't turn y'all off. I didn't, yay. Okay, so you have to ask yourself the question. Why do I feel a need to control everybody? I, have, I don't have no grip on myself. I am not qualified to control anybody. When people come to me with foolishness, let me give you my two cents. I'm like, keep your two cents. I got a mill over here. I got a mill I'm working with. I don't need your two cents. Why in the world do we feel so puffed up about making sure that we control things and people, places, money, every, I got to control the bills. I got to pay them on time. I got to pay them early. I got to relax yourself. Pro, pro, let me tell you, practice acceptance. When I tell you giving up control will make you stronger, listen. Increased happiness. Do you know how freeing it is to not tell your child what to do, but to give them options? Do you know how freeing it is to put an outfit out for your child and have them screaming and crying that they don't want to wear that? But you put out three outfits, you give them the opportunity to choose one, but guess what? You already chose their outfit. You gave, you bought the three outfits. You chose the three outfits. You still made the decision. They don't know that. <laughs> Get excited. You be so free, so happy. You trying to keep that man, right? You trying to keep that girl, right? You're going to keep it tight. You're going to keep it right. You're going to keep it popping and twerking and some more. Oh, I'm going to make sure. You ain't making sure of nothing. You're just not. I know you think you are, but you're not. You'll be so much freer when you do a self-care, self-love ritual and you just let them flock to you. You won't be chasing nothing. Your energy will have a perfume of its own. Your energy will be so magnetic that you will have a line of them chasing you down the street for you to decide, mama, come on, which one you want. But you lost. You're trying to control that one man that don't want you. You're trying to control that one woman that don't respect you. You think you got to pay all of her bills. You think you got to buy her a car for you to be the man. Look, look, let me tell you something. A real man understands consciousness. A real man understands true value can't be found in a bank account. And y'all experienced the pandemic. We couldn't even get toilet tissue. You put your stock in things. And when things disappear, you will have nothing. But I promise you, if you love everything you have, you already have everything you need. You better love yourself. You better get excited about you. Look, releasing the control, it don't, it don't make you weak. It make you strong. It does the exact opposite. Releasing the control, it gives you, increases your happiness. Guess what? You'll have better relationships. All the people around you, they're going to be like, oh my God, Mamifa, you're so just like relaxed. I remember I went on a trip on a bus ride with a, a, a group of business partners after I got married. And they were like, you're so just cool, easy breezy. They were like, before you were so uptight. You were so serious. You didn't even know how to laugh at a joke. And I'm like, well, thank God I got him in my life because they didn't tell me that before. I didn't know. 
but I'm on a bus ride with my husband. Everybody's like, you seem so happy. You seem so lighthearted. I said, I am. And I asked my husband, I said, well, what was I before if everybody is saying this about me? Do you understand you will have better relationships when you just release all control and you don't let the inner fear interfere with your life? In addition to that, whoop, you will have less stress. You will have less stress. Less stress, my sister Pam. We are queens and stress, stress is beneath us. Stress is for peasants, I say. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being goofy. I learned to be a little kid again. Stress is for peasants. It is not for the queen. Maybe a princess has stress, but I don't. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a character. But wouldn't it be nice to have less stress? I don't know about you, but I want me some less stress in my life. Somebody laugh. I want me some less stress in my life. I don't want to be controlling you and then you're going to disappoint me because I'm going to have all these unrealistic expectations. You're going to fail the list of unrealistic expectations that I'm going to be let down because you didn't do what I wanted you to do when in the first place, I could have never expected it of you in the first place. And I could have realized all along that happiness is an inside job. Get excited. Like happiness is an inside job. Happiness is a choice. I dare not to, let me tell you what I've been through. I ain't giving you the option to make me happy. You think I'm, you really think I'm going to give you the option to make me happy. Been there, done that. I have not met one to fulfill that. Not a one. Not even my amazing husband that I love so much. And you know why? Because it's not supposed to come from the outside. It's an inside job, right? The next thing, when you release control, release the inner fear, identify the things that you are afraid of, guess what's going to happen? New opportunities and new success. Y'all better get excited. So why are you chasing that man? You missing that opportunity. Why are you chasing that girl? You missing some success you could tap into, right? Why are you running after your kid who don't want you in their life? Guess what? You are missing out on things. That you need to be in alignment with your assignment, but guess what? You distracted. You don't lost your focus. You just all over the place. You know you just off. You just all over the place. You know why? Because you're trying to control things that you absolutely cannot control. So until you become to the end of your journey, you will never understand it until you keep hitting a brick wall over and over and over. Pam, we're going to keep hitting a brick wall over and over and over again until we say, okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop doing this. I can't control him. I've whipped it on him. <laughs> I've cooked it for him. I've washed it for him. I've cleaned it for him. I've bought it for him. It don't work, baby. I can't do this. Happiness is an inside job. And what I want you to know us here at Healing 101, we're on our elevation journey, baby. You better get excited. Thanks, sis. We are on our elevation journey over here. Cause let me tell you something. Y'all better get excited. Let me tell you. I'm going to give y'all another little secret. Golden nugget. When you are close to your elevation, and sis here this loud and clear. When you are close to your elevation, when you are close to your breakthrough, listen, you're going to have options of people, places, and things that can distract you and take you off focus. But let me tell you something. You need to make a determination in your mind, oh, I ain't gonna fail this time because we're not coming this way again. I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of coming this way again. I'm sick and tired of crying because you don't love me and because you don't accept me. I don't have no more tears for that, right? I'm sick and tired of waiting for you to love and validation validate me i don't have no more depression no more sadness no i ain't got nothing for that no more nothing right so listen all of those things come to distract you and it's just a test that's going to repeat itself over and over again till you understand you're going to choose option one option one says you stay the same Option one says you get thrown off your course. 
Action one says you stop pursuing your dreams. That ain't it for me, sis. Option two says new beginnings. I came to pass this test. I'm not coming this way again. I'm tired of crying about the same old, same old. I'm tired. What do I need to know? What mysteries do I need to tap into? What manifestations do I need to create? I'm not going to keep waking up with this sorrow and this misery and this depression and this anxiety. Feeling good is a strategy. And I have determined if I got to walk out in nature, if I got to pray on my face, I don't care what I got to do. I'm going to figure this out. But I'm not going to walk every day in misery. That's not what I was born for. I was not born to suffer. And now that I understand that very, very clearly, guess what? This time I have decided to pass the test. So I love you, but you're extra. Everything else is extra. The person, the places, the things, not necessary. I welcome some, you know, like my Pam says, you know, we reconnecting. That's amazing. I welcome her, but you know, you got to pass the test. Okay. Pam passed the test. It's certain, you know, you got to pass the test because I can't be distracted right now. I have to be focused. I have to be in alignment with my assignment. And let me tell you, when you get on this journey, I'm not letting your interfere, interfere with your life. Guess what the result is? Peace. Y'all better get excited about that. Y'all don't have to get excited. I get excited by myself. The result is peace. See, peace is the result of training your mind to process life just exactly as it is, not what you think it should be. When you live in the present and you say, okay, okay. This is what happened. Instead of me saying, I can't believe you did that to me. Why did you do that to me? That's what I used to do. Now I say, if it costs me my peace, it costs too much. So since my mind is taking me to a negative place and making me doubt myself, we're going to stop that negative talk right now. And instead of me asking the question, why are you doing what you're doing to me? I have to ask myself the question, what you need to get out of this girl? Because mentally strong people, they ain't wet, they ain't weak, they don't go cry. You know, let me tell you what I used to do. I used to take sleeping pills. I'm telling y'all the truth. Psychologist. I couldn't deal. I would go in the room, turn off the lights, and go to sleep. I don't care what time of day it was. I can't deal. <sighs> Wake up tomorrow. Is this? Oh, man. The problem's still here. That's what I used to do. Now, I'm courageous. I'm like, come on. Boom. Let's go. What you? What? What? What I got to get out of this God, because I ain't coming here again. I'm not going in the room to the dark. I'm not taking the sleeping pills. I'm not smoking the weed. I'm not drinking the alcohol. I'm not having no sex. I'm not running and chasing after nobody. I'm not begging for no money. I ain't stealing no money. I ain't doing none of that. What I need to do to pass this test. What do I need to do? And then I look at myself in the mirror and I look at myself courageous. And I know I feel like a little baby kitten, but I see a lion. I see a tiger in a mirror and I say, girl, man up. I know I'm a lady. <laughs> I know I'm a girl. I'll be like, man up. Stop crying with your wimpy wimpy self. Girl, what you need to get? And I'm like, okay. Um, I need to process that they don't want me in their life anymore. Okay. I need to process that, that I've given them my all. They just don't want me. That doesn't mean I'm not worthy because they don't find me worthy that doesn't mean i'm not valuable because they don't see value in me that doesn't mean that i'm not worthy of love and respect because they don't love and respect me oh yeah so i look at myself in the mirror and i say girl you bad to the bone and if they have removed themselves out of your life you better thank god because it got to be a reason and just accept it so i accept it and i say you know what i wish you light and i wish you love but I'm going to dance my pain away. I got problems. Dance my pain. I'm sorry. I can't dance and I can't sing. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some peace over here. Because if it costs my peace, it costs too much. And you can't have it. My peace is for me. And you can't take it. The world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. Y'all better get excited. Let me tell you something. 
when I tell you that you tap into no longer allowing your inner fear to interfere with your life, as we close, you'll remember this. God makes no mistakes. If he called you to elevation, if he called you to that next level, then you the woman for the job. Don't count yourself out before the end of the journey. You the woman for the job. I know you don't know. Look, look, look. Look, I was an abused wife. I was in a very violent relationship, physically, verbally, sexually. I was in, it was bad. I was overweight. I had low self-esteem. I didn't love myself, but I spoke myself out of the darkness. So I want you to know that you can speak yourself out of the darkness. I didn't have money. I didn't have another relationship. I didn't have support. I didn't have nobody coming to hug me and wipe my tears away and telling me it's going to be all right. Now I ain't had none of that. That's what I'm doing here on 101. I will wipe your tears away virtually, baby. I just wiped it. <laughs> I just hugged you. I just gave you some love, baby. I didn't have that. So I spoke over my life. And then I realized all the things that I spoke is the way my life is right now. And now I'm speaking my life to the next level. You are here because you're supposed to be here. You the woman for the job. Do you know how many times we get so close to our breakthrough? We get so close to our elevation. Have you ever been looking for something? Let me tell you my thing. I'm looking for something. I put my hand under the bed. I'm like, man, I can't find it. I go around the whole entire house. It was right at the first place where I went to look for it, but I didn't just reach my hand far enough. I didn't reach my, if I would have just reached my hand one more inch, one more centimeter, mom, I would have touched and found what I was looking for. But so many of us, we give up too soon. I told you, I am a voice. You are the voice for you. You are the one that you're looking for. You need to do the work and find out what your inner fears are that is interfering with your life and cut them out one by one. Because mentally strong people don't focus on things they can't control. Y'all better get excited. That's the show for today. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pumped up. I'm excited because I'm on my healing journey. And I decided that my inner fear, inner fear will not destroy my life. And that's why all these circumstances show up. It's just a mirror of what's going on inside of here. So when it happens, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. I'm not upset. I'm like, oh, there's a mirror to teach me. Work on that, Monifa. And guess what I'm going to do? I ain't going to shy away from it. I'm going to work on that. We might be in a boxing ring. You might have me up against the ropes. But at the end of the day, baby, I'm going to do a technical knockout TKO. Don't play. Don't let a sister get up because I will rise. You might think you got me down for a minute. But I will rise. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. So let's get into our let's get into our meditation. Thank you, sis. So every day, I tell you, take five minutes. We get 24 hours. Do whatever you want with 23 hours and 55 minutes. But by God, take five minutes for yourself. If you don't think you are worth five minutes, why do you think any other person on this planet will value you beyond five minutes. You don't even think you're worth it. You, you don't even think you're worth it. Why you want dude to think you're worth it? Why you want the girl to think you're worth it? Why you want the job to, why? Why? You don't even believe it. You believe it first. If you don't have five minutes, you don't have a life. I'm gonna show you real quick how to do a two minute meditation and we out of here. I want you guys to know I will have assignments for you next week. I apologize. I am I'm I'm, I'm like sad about this because I'm I'm so connected to you guys. But next week, Healing 101 will be a recording and an assignment. And I'm gonna ask you guys to post and to DM me the answers to the assignment to make sure you watched it. So when we come back next week, everybody will be on the same page. So next week there won't be any live videos, but there will be posted videos for every day and an assignment. Get excited. Okay.
May God continue to shine his face upon you. Put your hand over your heart if you want to. Some of y'all never felt your own heartbeat. You ain't even know. You, you got the only fingerprint like that. You got the only heartbeat like that. And you're chasing after dude. He got his own. You worry about yours. Get excited. May God continue to shine his face upon you. Continue. It's already happening. Continue. Hear the big word. Continue. May God be gracious to you and grant you peace. We forgive ourselves for believing that we should have done better when we didn't know how. And we forgive others for the same. We are open and ready for things to start going our way. Man, we are open to receiving a message in this physical world today that is a reflection of that. We are open and ready to receive that message. And what you want wants you. It's already done, baby. Y'all better get excited. It's on the way. It's already done. You already have it. It's already ours. Man. Guys, I love each and every one of you. Just know that you are enough. If you haven't figured out how to love yourself, guess what? Dr. J love you. Until you love yourself, I love you. Just know that you are loved. You are valued. You are respected and you are appreciated. I love each and every one of you. Thank you, mom. Thank you, sis. You guys have a phenomenal day on purpose. And I will see you guys tomorrow live at 5. Peace out. I'm excited today. Woo-hoo.